Well, happy Midweek Wednesday. We haven't been together um, in several Wednesdays as we have been moving through these days of um, Easter tide. But there are several things coming up that I wanted to let you know about. And because today is May 5th, Cinco de Mayo, hope you're having tacos tonight, um, it seemed just appropriate that we talk about five things, right? On May 5th, Cinco de Mayo. So the first, coming up this week, as it is Mother's Day, is always the day when the United Methodists remember Epworth Children's Home. We are a sustainer congregation. So we've got our certificate from last year because this is one of the um, primary um, ministries that we support in the life of our connectional South Carolina shared ministry. And for many, many, many years, Bethel has um, held Epworth close in its heart and in its giving. So we'll have special envelopes this week that will be um, inserted in the bulletin. So if you want to come thinking about um, Mother's Day offering that will go to Epworth, that's one, one thing. The next thing this week is a new ministry initiative. I'm so excited about this. So um, John Conyers, John and Jean, who make their home at Seabrook and are members of our church, um, in the midst of COVID, um, began to think, how do we stay connected? And particularly, it was after um, Mimi Cannon's passing, when um, just the reality that there are uh, people with such wisdom and such insight and such heart for the life of faith, that as they finish their time in history and begin their time in eternity, some of what they know um, they've entrusted to us and some of what they know we, we never thought to ask. So John, in light of that, said, wouldn't you be okay if we, we began to think about people whose stories we'd not like to know a little bit about, maybe one a month, and I'm glad to go and interview them and sort of capture um, questions and capture their reflections, get them to read over it, sort of to prove it before it's um, published. And then once a month, you know, we just highlight um, someone in our midst that um, uh, whose life of faith and uh, living witness uh, somehow gets captured and, and shared in a small way. thought it was a brilliant idea. So grateful to John. Not only did he come with an idea, but with a willingness to carry it out. So this Sunday, the inaugural first edition of what we're calling um, The Saints Among Us um, is Ms. Rosemary Yeezy. So Rosemary um, spent time, uh, let, let John interview her with a set of questions, and then he, he, he captured them and put them in sort of an, um, an editorial form, a way that we could uh, and so it'll be online and then in the bulletin of those who are um, attending this Sunday um, at either the 9 a.m. open air or the 11.15. But if you're not, then this is online in the e-blast that will go out tomorrow. Um, so Rosemary Giese is the, um, the, the person um, in May that kicks this off. And the next um, interview in queue is Mr. Johnny Easterby. So um, John Conyers will be interviewing Mr. Johnny for our June edition. So um, initially, we're just picking a few people out just to kind of get the ball rolling before we ask who would be willing to be interviewed. So we're just trying to do, to create a pathway so that along the way, um, you can say, hey, I think my mom would be interested in doing that, or I think my dad or granddad would be interested in doing that, or. Um, so anyway, it's, it's not sort of just a select group. It's we're choosing some people to, to kind of pave the way so that others know what this is about and will more readily be willing to do this. So um, anyway, you'll see this this week. I'm so excited about that and, and thankful to John Conyers for it. Um, the third thing is that SBRC is looking to hire a sexton. Um, this is a 35 hour a week um, job. There's benefits with it. Um, somebody to join this staff team and to um, 
help us in that uh, care of nurturing the buildings and grounds of our church and to be a collaborative team player. So if there's anybody in your sphere of influence that you think would be a good fit, hope you'll pass, um, talk to them and direct them back to Bethel and um, our, our information is posted on the website or feel free to call the church office. We're happy to talk to people who might be interested. So uh, help us find a new staff team player in that, in that um, arena. So that's three. Four is um, this Sunday's Mother's Day. So there are um, flowers that many of you are giving in honor and memory of people as we develop um, gardens around here. You'll see the names of folks in the bulletin this Sunday and um, different gardens that different families or people will tend. It's an exciting um, ministry to watch unfold as well. So, um, and not only that, to, for all the children who are here, they'll have a, a flower to give their moms. So, uh, all about flowers this, this Sunday at Bethel. And then fifth, on this fifth day of May, um, this Saturday, there is a, um, the trustees headed up by Edna Roberts. It, she's the one on trustees who's responsible for our grounds. And anybody who knows Edna know that she knows that she has not just one green thumb, but two. And so she's working with all of these gardens, of course, but on Saturday between nine and one, you're invited to bring gloves and join the work over in the graveyard um, while the, so that the gravestones can be cleaned, the special solution that just has to be sprayed. Um, and also that any puzzle pieces, like here's part of one here and here's part of one here, we think they go together. Um, so uh, work in the graveyard this Saturday, nine to one, um, come with your gloves, help us in the beautification of this um, historic, beautiful, sacred space that we call our church home. So um, that, that's it, those are the five things. Uh, we have um, Epworth Children's Home Mother's Day offering, we have The Saints Among Us, first edition, we have um, SPRC is in search of a sexton, we have flowers, both on the grounds and in the hands of the children Sunday. And then we have a project in our graveyard for Saturday, nine to one. So that concludes our um, midweek moment, but I look forward to seeing, seeing you on Sunday at the nine o'clock open air, at the 1115 sanctuary service or online as we continue to be this hybrid church, not either or, either inside or outside, either at home or in person, not either or, we, we're hybrid, um, we're both and, and hopefully in one of those three pathways, you'll find your way to Bethel this Sunday. Look forward to seeing you then. My love to you.